Writing is like weightlifting for your mind. It helps you understand ideas better and think more clearly. But many people underestimate the power of writing. We tend to think we understand something if we just read about it. But reading and rereading is the most ineffective study method. It can easily trick us to believe we understand. Rereading is particularly dangerous because the moment we become familiar with something, we start to believe we also understand it, when in fact we don't. Seeing something we have seen before causes the same emotional reaction as if we have been able to retrieve the information from our memory. Rereading therefore makes us feel we have learned what we read. So, what is the most effective study method? Elaboration. Elaboration simply means thinking about the meaning of what we read and explaining in our own words. For example, teaching is a form of elaboration. In order to teach a subject, you really need to understand it deeply. This is the underlying idea of the Feynman technique. Richard Feynman once said he could only know whether he understood the subject if he could give a lecture on it. His method is effective because the attempt to rephrase an argument in our own words confronts us with every gap in our understanding. As John Searle said, if you can't say it clearly, you don't understand it yourself. Another form of elaboration is writing in your own words, because writing is like the small scale equivalent of a lecture. When you are making a note, you are writing for an audience who have little knowledge about the subject. Therefore, just like the Feynman technique, it helps us to confront ourselves when we don't understand something. To summarize, we tend to think we understand what we read until we try to rewrite it in our own words. By doing this, we not only get a better sense of our ability to understand, but also increase our ability to clearly and concisely express our understanding, which in return helps us to grasp ideas more quickly. Now, I want to show you my writing inbox in Rome, which I see as a gem for my mind. In my writing inbox, I can see topics I want to write about. For example, this query collects topics I want to do some research on that have the tags waiting or in progress. In progress means I'm currently doing research and waiting means I will do research in the future. And similarly, this query shows topics from quick capture that I want to write about. For example, I took a quick note about Shohei Otani, who is a Japanese baseball player and his practice method, and I want to know more about it. So I put the tag waiting, and now it appears in my writing inbox. Finally, the resonance calendar is where I store all of the articles, books and podcasts that I consumed and resonated with me. For example, I recently read The Coaching Habit and now it is waiting to be processed, which means I have to make literature notes and evergreen notes. And when I start working on it, I change the tag to In Progress. So you can see that I'm currently making literature notes of The Daily Stoic, which by the way is a great book by Ryan Hoysey. And when I finish, I just change the tag to done, then it will disappear. So that is a general idea of writing inbox. It is a place that always gives you some ideas to write about. I usually come to this page every day, pick a topic and write about it for one hour. By doing so, you can train your mind. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please let me know. Stay safe, bye.